Well, uh, I'm ready to what I'm going to be doing in this video is installing headers and fixing I have a broken evaporator so I gotta remove this evaporator and of course put in new headers I'm also going to replace all of the cooling hoses and the spark plugs and spark plug wires those are I try to break them out into separate videos but for right now that is the goal first thing I'm gonna do first thing I'm gonna do is remove these bolts from the uh, catalytic converter so I can drop this whole assembly on down and as one piece drop all of the exhaust down uh, in my exhaust they took out some stuff it's, it's not a standard a stock exhaust I don't know what he had up here before the guy who had it before me but anyway it's all one piece uh, drop it on down from the stock exhaust manifold here and then I'll turn the camera back on it's easy to get your bolts on your your socket on all three of the bolts here it's one and two right there and three I had to use a, uh, an elbow on one of them but easy to get the socket on and it's 14 millimeter alright folks so now I'm uh, disconnecting all the lines I got all of these done up at the engine at the manifold and now I'm just unloosening I'm loosening all the all the way down the line you see down at the back uh, under the spare tire it's uh, some spring holders taking those out and now I'm about to move to the mufflers and I have the jack on it you see to support it so it doesn't fall down while I'm unbuckle it while I'm taking everything loose all right so now I'm back here at the back I've already sprayed it down penetrating oil this is the hanger for the muffler take these two bolts out here that I have wet up and then that whole assembly will be done because I already loosened the hangers here's the other one got it all disconnected now so the only thing supporting this uh, whole assembly from the mufflers from both mufflers all the way back to the engine to the manif exhaust manifold are these hangers back here that I just showed you sorry for these weird angles y'all but that's what I gotta do take that out and then I'll be able to drop the whole thing out of the way also don't forget before you drop this down this whole uh, assembly you gotta disconnect the oxygen sensor so here's the first oxygen sensor here's the connection to it oxygen sensor is right up here uh, let me get my hand up there so you can see it. well that's it right there I'm zooming in on it that's driver side and the passenger side one uh, let me get focused here is right up top there. <sighs> Try to move my angle around. Well, that's it right there. This is the oxygen sensor. You see the wire coming out of it. And the wire. The wire is just hanging around now. Right here. This is the wire connection goes to that one so now I should be ready to let my jack stand down all right y'all I ran into a little problem here I took the uh, the jack down after I got all of those brackets loosened I got the bolts taken out from the manifold to these uh, catalytic converters or resonators whatever they are and the thing didn't move at all didn't budge and come to find out this is a bracket right here that is connected to the transmission this is the bracket 
and if you follow it all the way up there's a connection on the transmission and I'm not even trying to fool with that so I'm gonna try to take these it's three bolts here one on this side one on the matching side and one at the top in a triangular shape I'm gonna try to take those off hopefully this plate will slide back and then this will slide forward well it won't slide forward but at least it should let the well I'm gonna have to figure it out from there uh, so let's just see what happens I'm gonna start off taking these nuts off and see what gets loose see what works itself out All right. okay y'all uh, uh, it has been a while I've been working on after I realized that I had to take out more pieces than what I had taken out uh, namely that bracket those brackets right there those that those two springs holding it up and then in the back let me see if I can zoom in this another set of brackets holding it in there and it didn't drop when I let down the jack come to find out there's a bracket holding it right here this bracket right here that I'm touching and so I gotta try to figure out how to take that bracket out I thought if I got this thing off and you see uh, it broke and then the other one broke well all all three all three of the bolts on this thing broke that were holding this pipe onto the catalytic converter they all broke but that bracket is still there and it broke leaving a pin let me let me turn this camera off I have my wrench on what I'm trying to loosen here actually you can see the rod I'm trying to get it all see that rod sticking out right there that broke off the head of it broke off but the stud is still there and that stud is connecting that bracket uh, that's that stud is holding everything up right now the bracket that stud is on the bracket there that stud is on this bracket and this bracket is holding up through that stud into this thing I believe so anyway I'm getting ready to this wrench right here is a 9 16 it's one of the bolts on the transmission I'm getting ready to loosen it up so I can take the this bracket off the hanger just hanging this exhaust up and hopefully that's gonna be it alright y'all I'll let you know how it goes alright YouTube this is uh, what's going on right now I have uh, my ratcheting wrench uh oh I got to find it in the picture Got my ratchet and wrench up there. Let it focus. On this fine thread uh, bolt I'm trying to take out. You know that has all of this, that bracket hanger connected. And I can only get it to come one click at a time. I've been doing this for probably about 20 minutes. Listen. might be two clicks but I'm just doing this mm. the exhaust pipe is in the way hopefully the new exhaust won't need this but I'm sure it will there's the nut if you can see it working its way out and uh, be careful it has a ground on it too so I have no idea how I'm gonna put it back together but if one person can do it that means another person can do it that thing is coming out I'm using a ratchet and wrench it is a it is a 13 millimeter to pull it out 
Harbor Freight special. I'll let you know when I get done. Alright y'all, I got that side over there done. Went to let the jack down and nothing happened. Come to find out, right above this catalytic converter here, we have another bolt on this side. And some on this side. One right here. So it looks like also on the back of the transmission we have this one and that one up there. So I'm going to take those two out and this whole thing should drop, I hope, this time. Um, here's the orientation. I'm, you're just getting what I can give you. That's the bell housing here. Uh, two hangers or two bolts holding the hanger onto the bell housing. So I'm going to take those two out and then hopefully this whole thing is going to drop. YouTube here we go again I came down to finish this job take off these last two bolts that were on here I put a uh, put a an elbow put an elbow on there got that one off but to get this next one, the next one up there, I got the wrench on and I'm able to just turn it one click at a time again, just like the one on the other side. This is the passenger side, right above the heat, it's, it's where it hangs on to the heat shield. Let's see if you can, there's the heat shield on this big resonator or whatever this thing is. All right that's connected to the exhaust manifold and it's, it is a hanger right in the top of it you see my wrench hanging hanging there on the top bolt I pulled out the bottom bolt with an extension with an extension and an elbow but that top one boy I broke it loose with another with the elbow and uh, the extension too came right loose but then I couldn't once the bolt came out you can't get the extension you can't get the socket off the bolt because it hits the floor pan so I had to run it back in a little bit and start with this uh, ratchet and monkey wrench so I'm gonna be going two clicks at a time till it backs all the way out holy crap no wonder they charge so much for this stuff at the shop this is crazy, man. All right, so I got this catalytic converter all off, and I couldn't get this bracket removed. Let me see if I get a better angle here. Couldn't get this bracket off that it's hung with, and so I had to cut the stud off. When I cut that stud off, then I had to sit and cut and cut and cut in order to get this to come off because this thing has this okay this stud broke off but I think it's welded onto the flange of the catalytic converter and it wouldn't let my bracket off wouldn't let my bracket off and so the only way to do was to cut it off with my trusty Harbor Freight cutoff wheel I think this is like $9.99 or something like that from Harbor Freight it's one of the Pittsburgh tools uh, okay Chicago electric but it does the job uh, on my Chevy Tahoe here I put a muffler on it and I used the that same cutoff wheel to cut the muffler out from under it on this one uh, cutoff wheel was able to cut through that steel pretty easy and cut off the flange this bracket is mounted to the side of the transmission that bolt that was so hard to take down it goes on there all right it's hung by there so I'm gonna hang this back up as you can see 
as you can see the transmission is down or the mm, the transmission the exhaust is down that catalytic converter is down I took that bracket off once I took the, those catalytic converters those two brackets that are on the transmission bolt the bell housing bolts or something else it holds all that weight for the most part uh, and it's rough getting to them but once you get them that whole thing is gonna come on down okay and then at the back <clears throat> Once I got the transmission hangers at the catalytic converters to let go, then it's these two brackets here uh, in the back. I just slid it forward and it slid out of those little pockets up there. Slid it forward and the exhaust system dropped down. Now when I put on my other mufflers, I'm going to try to cut these off flush so I can reuse that center section. 